Hello once again Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another really special unboxing show by Darth Tuba. I am your host Darth Tuba and we are going to be unboxing another Hot Toys. These are rare among these here parts. They're very expensive so I've kind of only budgeted maybe one or two a year. Problem is sometimes I order them and they take a year to come <laughs> and then there may be another one that I ordered. Maybe I bought, purchased one that I never purchased earlier and I buy it in the shop maybe on a sale and they come the same time so they can kind of come in twos or threes or not get one for one or two years so this one uh, let's see what it says here it says one sixth figure OWK DV Deluxe OWK Obi-Wan Kenobi so but I can't remember if it's actually Obi-Wan Kenobi or if we have another figure in here I've been trying to um, really be very selective with what I purchase, right? So, you know, because I, you know, do we not, contrary to some people's belief, we do not have unlimited budget here at uh, Darth Tuba Studio. So, <clears throat> I, you know, look at what I have, decide what I want to do. I'm actually looking at some older ones. I've done some sideshow retrospectives that I recommend you check out. You can check out the playlist for those. And I'm trying to go through the order of which I bought them, or at least the order of which they were released. And uh, I'm getting. You know kind of moving right along i mean i get i get interrupted by other things that go on um it's funny though i was thinking about it. we haven't really haven't had hadn't had really an, a true unboxing in a few um few weeks really so i'm happy that we got one that we can show here um so let's get this one out and let the box slowly fall oh no it's not it's darth vader it's not obi-wan kenobi now yeah this is one that i decided basically I have a Darth Vader. I believe it's a sideshow Darth Vader. And I love it. You know, I, I think it's a great figure. But I this one with the with the um, I know it's a little hard to see with the um, thing here, but I wanna I wanted the one with the Anakin's face showing. It's a throwback both to the Obi Wan Kenobi series and to the Rebel series when Ahsoka fought Vader. So Poor, B Vader. Poor Vader. He was always getting his butt kicked by everybody else. Seriously, has he ever won? The only time, I think that's why people loved Rogue One so much, is because in Rogue One at the end, he really did, you know, show himself to be Vader at his absolute glory and prime. But here, um, you know, we see that he, we, well, we had to have the hero win. We had to have Obi-Wan win. So, again, box art, fantastic, beautiful, gorgeous. Um, and it comes with like a both the front cover and slip cover and a little slip extension and then we have that oh my god look at that just look at how cool that is i mean you know i get it um now i don't know the the i i have to say and i've and i've said it on many channels and i have a friend who watches them and he said oh yes we know you say it because <laughs> he we were just out last night and he's like yeah you made mention that on the channel so i guess i do um, tip my hand a lot of, a lot about my feelings. Um, I'm I'm not an Lucasfilm apologist or a Disney apologist in any way. I think that there is a market in this day and age to show TV, streaming, or movies that are related to prequel era Star Wars. Even though I know there's a whole faction of people out there that hated the prequels, maybe they still there are some that hated them, and then they kind of rewatched them in, a, in an older, you, you know, when they were older, or maybe watched them with their kids, and they kind of changed their tune about them. Then I know some that were hated, they hated them, and continue to hate them. Okay, that's fine. Me, I have always been one to celebrate the Star Wars we have. And, but having said that, I would rather have tons of streaming services and say, or streaming network shows and movies that come out occasionally celebrating Star Wars in different eras because it's a world now. It's a universe. It's a galaxy. It's a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. There is more than enough stories to be told with characters that we're familiar with, like Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader, and new characters like all the ones coming up in the Acolyte, which, which I did very much enjoy their teaser, and I'm looking forward to that show as well. All right. So, this is the deluxe version and it's it's what they call a six scale figure which is normally i guess you could say some, sometimes they call it 12 inch although i'm sure 
that Vader is a little bit more than 12 inch. There is a lot to this box. Holy cow. All right, let me, actually this one looks like it just slide. I didn't even need to undo this. It just slides open. Um, Hot Toys, you know, does an amazing, amazing job of they do an amazing job of boxing everything and protecting it. Again, that's a really cool art there. Not only does it have the, um, well, that's, this one's a little different. Like over here we had, uh, whoops, ah, the reveal came too soon. <laughs> over here we had the art of the Inquisitors and Vader with Obi-Wan off to the side there, right? And there's Mustafar. And then we had Vader and Obi-Wan fighting on their own. So really cool stuff. And there we have our Vader. Looks like he's preset. He comes with obviously a regular helmet and he comes with the Anakin head exposed. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna display this with the Anakin head, the, the, the battle damage. I have a Sideshow Vader, as I said. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it. I may decide, you know, cause I said, we're, we are in the process of thing out. So I may decide that I wanna keep one and sacrifice another and, that's kind of what I've been doing. Like one thing goes in, another thing goes out, that type of thing. Okay, so let me do this. Oh, and of course he comes with many hands. I know they say many hands make light work, but many have the many hands of the same person. I'm not sure about that. All right, of course now I gotta get his booties off. I wonder sometimes how, a little foam there, that's cool. His shin guards, huh, that's cool. All right, so this is not complete. Looks like he's, oh, oh, it looks like he's got some power. Oh, I'll have to see if I can get that going. Uh, tell you what, let me put this on high speed so you can see Vader come together a little faster. It'll probably only be a few seconds, but let's do it. Okay, so this is really cool. Um, I gotta say, I'm really, I mean, I think, you know, I'm always happy with the evolution that Hot Toys does with their figures. I'm really, really pleased with how they try to always grow and build and develop and innovate. And I hope that that kind of secures them in a permanent place of uh, staying in business because, and, I, and that's why, one of the reasons why I do try to, <laughs> here's all weird, um, do try to uh, make some purchases. It's just that it is very expensive, but it costs money to do these things. This figure is amazing. Okay, um, if you can see, I'm trying to get a get you get you a close up here of the face. I mean, look at that. And it's just nuts. I mean, it's just intense. Um, you know, of course, this now makes me want to get the Obi Wan. <laughs> so I'm like, Aah. but uh, but we'll see. You know, you know, see how things go, but. Uh, the one issue that I've had with, uh, there've been other, there've been issues like, you know, hand, the hand and wrist and head joints, you know, the, the nuts and bolt kind of things that you pull out and pull back in have always been a kind of hit or miss for me. This one, I don't even know if I got the, uh, wrist in, I wanted to get the grip so he can have his lightsaber. It seems to be successfully in there. So that's good. I don't think their wrists bend or twist because of the gloves. So I think that's just something that you just have to deal with. So keep that in mind when you're trying, if you're limited with space, this is gonna take up more room. I suppose you can, you know, bring it up higher and bring it in, in like this to kind of make it better. And I wanna point this out. This is something, this is new to me. I'm sure that there've been other uh, channels and other, uh, you know, other uh, YouTubers and unboxers that have, have maybe come across this before, but this little cable is attached to the lightsaber. In addition, I'm gonna 
excuse me, Vader, I don't mean this to make you seem uh, undignified. But he's got three wires here, these two, and then there's one over here by the shoulder. So that's four wires all together. And then there's this. It comes with this little power pack. And it comes with four, uh, you know, four plugs to plug in, four outlets, if you will. And then, like an on and off switch. But in addition, it comes with a charging port. All right, this is a USB-C, I believe. So now I don't think it comes with a USB-C cable, um, but even if it doesn't, I mean, I have dozens of these lying around from other devices. So as long as you have a USB, you can also pick one up on Amazon for very cheap. Um, it did not come charged, I don't think. So I'm going to go charge it and uh, I'll end this video once, you know, I'll put, I'll put a video tag on the end of this if I got it to work. <laughs> now, I don't know, uh, you'll see that this is a battle damaged version. Okay, you can, you can set this Vader up as a full normal version. As I said, not only does he come with his complete helmet, but he also comes with his complete um, chest plate. This one is the damaged sliced chest plate. I don't know if it's gonna run or if it's gonna do anything if I plug it in, but we'll see. We'll see if it does. The other thing I wanna point out on is, is his cape. Right now I have him, you know, with the slash in the back of his cape, but brilliantly on on hot toys part why supply two capes when all you really have to do is reverse this one so if you put this cape on in reverse and you want to make the formal vader that's not battle damage the cape is completely clean no no uh no saber marks so it's an awesome figure it looks amazing it looks kind of scary i mean it looks it was such a great scene you know, and that's something I'm really excited about. So, as I said, I loved every streaming service that come out. People talk about Andor. Oh my God, it's the best thing out there. You know, it's ironic that that's about Andor because I've watched, you know, for those who watch my channel, they know my daughter. We're very close to our daughter and she lives in Florida and we are not in Florida. So we get to see her, you know, four or five times a year and she comes up one or two times a year. So we see her enough. But, but it's nice to be able to, we like to stream in group watch some shows together and we do all the Star Wars ones. That's been like dedicated viewing, but we did not do that with Andor. She did not seem all that interested in it. So my wife and I watched it, you know, faithfully, but she didn't. We, we you know, when we get together, we'd show her some key episodes, but just for her to get a gist of the story. But I thought that was interesting because so many people were like, oh my God, it's the greatest one ever. And she had no interest. So it just goes to show you everybody's opinions are different. And, and, and Disney slash Lucasfilm has a hard job to try to please every single fan. Not going to happen. Not these days. So come up with different stuff. I encourage you, Disney. I encourage you, Lucasfilm. Come up with different stories. I mean, I don't know if I'm going to take to the Acolyte, but I'm looking forward to trying. Uh, the characters look interesting. The, the, it's a different time that we haven't seen in live action yet. So I'm excited. But I loved this story. Okay. So as I said, um, if I got it to work, if I got this charged and ready to go, the last... The final video shot will be just a silent shot of the of the electronics working. If not, we'll end it here. So great, great, uh, great piece. Great addition to anybody's collection, especially Vader collectors. Anybody loving Vader, anybody loving the Obi-Wan series. Um, just, a, just a great, great piece. And I, I encourage you to add it to your collection. I don't know, I don't know if I'll keep my old one. I might. Um, but I might also decide to part with it. Maybe in another day, I, I might do, I have a couple of doubles, uh, meaning like they made one version of something and they made, I did that with a, with a Jedi Luke. I, had, I compared three Jedi Luke 12 inch figures. I could put the collector series, the um, sideshow and the hot toys. I might do that again with this one. I, I don't have the collector series anymore. I've parted with most of those, but um, I might try to compare the two in another video, maybe a couple other ones and see what, the, we'll see how, what people think. Thanks so much for watching. Check out all the other videos on my videos. Check out all the Red 5 content. Thank you, Red 5, for supporting the channel as always. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, may the Force and the toys be with you. You didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. <laughs>